Yo, what's up happy people? It is a good day, Saturday to be exact, and we got a truck full of lobster traps. Actually, they're crab traps. <laughs> I got lobster on the mind. But uh, we're gonna load the boat up. I'm taking Sarah, the girls, and Kevo. We're going to the back. Here's the question. If you're from Virginia or Maryland, do you think the crabs are better up there or better down here? I gotta tell you, I'm biased. And I think these Florida crabs are way better than them northern crabs. Let's roll. I totally forgot to press record on the video camera, but we're in the water and I got a bunch of happy little guys want to take a picture. What's your name? Tyler. What's yours? Tyler. Hey, what's up little boy? You ready to go or what? There's mama right there. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Okay, you guys, we're gonna take some pictures. We're going to catch bait. And as you can tell, we're going, we're going crabbing. I keep saying lobster. We're going crabbing. No, we were just watching you like the other night. Man. Oh yeah? yeah? How cool is that? So the cool thing about living in Jupiter and doing what I do in Jupiter is there ain't no smoke and mirrors with us. This is actually the life that we live and I love running into new people and uh, saying hey. So now we're just waiting on the girls. Okay, wait, okay. Should I make it go fast and throw her off the front? That's the color change. Why, why does it change colors? Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> so as is always, plans change. We were gonna go over here and buy sardines for bait. But then I saw a bunch of little bait and I'm thinking, oh no, we're gonna catch them. Then we're gonna go catch Bonita or Blue Runners and we're gonna use that for bait. So this trip is just getting more and more fun by the second. Look at all these people having fun out here right now. Jupiter, Florida, I'm telling you, is the greatest town in the entire United States of America. To me, that's my opinion, but I got a lot of facts to back that up. Question is, what town do you think is the best town in the world? Leave it in the comments below, folks. What's your favorite town? Alaska. Oh, Alaska, what? She wasn't done talking. And Florida. Florida. What's your favorite town? Um, the Bahamas and Florida. I don't know. I love Jupiter. That's yeah, a political Florida. statement. She knows if she didn't say Oshkosh, she was gonna get some hate from all her yeah, but I like Jupiter better Packers than fans up there. Oshkosh <laughs> and the Bahamas too. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, What's up, y'all? So Sarah and Kevin are now explaining to the new owners of the truck and the toy hauler how to hook up, how to close it and everything. So that actually answers two questions. The dually and the fifth wheel are now owned by a new happy family. But I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna catch bait, they're gonna talk them, and we're gonna be ready to go. And while we head out, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Decked. I am partnering with Deck in their ultimate tailgate giveaway. You guys know I'm a huge football fan and this is just in time for the start of the season. One lucky winner is going to get a Deck product of their choice, a Yeti 45 hard cooler, a Traeger Ranger wood pellet grill, and a $500 gas card. It's the Deck ultimate tailgate giveaway. I've been using a Deck drawer system for quite a while now and we're always out in the elements. Look, it's weatherproof, and each of these drawers hold up to 200 pounds of gear. Listen, when we're cruising around, we've always got guns, fishing poles, and a lot of equipment. And you know what? As long as this bed is shut and it's locked, it's safe, and it just makes our life really easy. Heck, my little brother, Blue Gabe, he even uses a deck. But you know what? It's all about being organized and ready. Decked is 100% made in America, and it's got a lifetime hassle-free warranty and a team of the best customer service agents around ready to answer all your questions. It's a win-win situation. So click the link in the description box below or go to decked.com forward slash deer meat at your chance of winning the end of summer giveaway. Hey, <laughs> let's go back on the boat. Thank you. 
Look at this, y'all. To have got him. We got bait and we didn't get in a boat crash, which is a positive. Hopefully, Sarah and Kev have them all sorted out. So it's a little bumpy offshore right now, no, okay, cool. and Sarah and Emma get a little seasick if they don't have their medicine. Well, this is spur of the moment, so they're gonna hang out at Dubois. We're gonna go catch bait and then we'll rendezvous back here in just a minute. Hot mama. What's your name? Brian. Come on, Brian, hop on. You're going to catch bait with us. Sorry. He just rolled up and said he's a fan of me and Blue Gabe. So off we go. Girls are playing on the sand. Brian's going to catch fish. Gotta get bait. <laughs> when I was a little kid, I would be sitting over there on land at New Boys Park wishing I was on a boat. So when he rolled up, and said what's up i'm like get on the boat let's go fishing reminds me of me being a kid okay brian let me show you what we're gonna do these are called chum baits watch us we'll get these fish going crazy real quick okay brian let me show you what we're gonna do this is your gear you ever use a reel like this uh, I got a bait caster, but it's okay. I, I know how to work. There you go. Use your thumb. Drop that thing down. All the way down? All the way down to the bottom. And whenever a fish bites it, you don't have to set the hook. All you got to do is just start reeling. Push your your, your forward. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Got him? Yeah. Good job. We need 10 of those. There you go, that's perfect. That is precisely what we're looking for, brother. Here, I'll have you. Hold on one second. Hey, you never know. You're going to pick somebody off off the dock. Next thing you know, he's filling the boat. Good dude right here. Do y'all eat fish? Uh, my family loves barracuda. Really? Yeah. People don't even realize that this is out here. You don't need a lot of tackle. You don't need a lot of skill. All these rocks are like public knowledge. You can just come out here, drop down some jigs or little live baits. Next thing you know, you're catching fish. And these blue runners are not bad to eat. <laughs> got him. I think I got a double on here, boys. What do I have? Look at that! I got a mangrove snapper and a mutton snapper! Really? Are you kidding me? This is not even real. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. I just got a big old mangrove snapper. He's going on ice. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. We have got bait. Now we're gonna go crabbing. Couple of nice snapper there, brother. Couple of nice yes, snapper. Yes, sir. That's dinner there. <laughs> Good deal. What you got, girl? Little crabby inside. Oh, is that a crab? Uh -huh. It's a hermit crab. Yeah. That was an accident. She found the shell and was like, Mom, keep the shell. And then a little her crab popped out. Hey, what happened? Hey, just like that, we're loaded up with bait. Heading back. Okay, so I thought I was gonna do a time lapse because typically those trains are like two miles long. 
but there was like eight cars. So this is the train bridge and that was a train. Oh my gosh, you guys need to go and look at some of our old videos to see how dilapidated this thing looked because this is the first time I've seen it since they redid it. What's up, y'all? <laughs> it's like daggum fan day for deer meat for dinner. She's awake. <laughs> oh, she she was so sneaking on us. Honey, oh, are you having fun? Yeah. Good deal. Hey, what are you girls doing in there? You're fishing? What do you think? I think it's gonna work. I hope it works. It's a good spot. Got a canal here, canal here, canal there, canal there. If that trap doesn't have a bunch of crabs in it, I'm, just leave I'm blaming it on Kevin. Well, that was built for the Chesapeake. That wasn't necessarily built for the Florida waters, so we'll see if it works. Sounds, but these were built for Louisiana. Sounds so. like he's starting with the excuse off early. <laughs> just saying. Oh, you got a cute hat on, baby. That's a sporty girl hat. Are you a sporty girl? Yeah. Yes, you are. Hey. Now set this just like this. How many crabs do you think we're gonna get? 20. Five? I think five, okay. met five in one trap. Huh? Five in one trap. You got it, girl. Next. Push it. And then I push. Oh. Woo, there's gonna be a lot of crabs here. That's how I want you to do everyone. Okay, high five. Good. Another bait, baby. Bait. That one I do. And then the, uh, when I run out of this one, there's deep depth so I can't get it. Flip it. Perfect. This should be your last one here. Yeah, yeah. You're getting really good at this. Flip it. Good job. Are right, you? Yeah. Flip it. Yes! I saw it too. Right, yeah. It just right, barely yeah. tipped. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Modern day professional. What's that? It said modern day professional. We've got us quite the system going on. Chunk it. Throw as far as you can. Good job. Flip the trap. Woo! Is this mine? Flip it. Is that mine? And just like that, folks, we've got all our traps in the water fishing. So we're gonna leave them there for probably one or two days, then we're gonna come back and hopefully have the biggest crab feast ever. But you're gonna have to keep watching the video because I cannot just predict the future, but I do have a good feeling about it. What do you know, folks? It's been 24 hours, time to pull our traps. What do you think we're gonna have in here? Me? I'm gonna say six. 12. 12, ooh. Uh, right now I'm gonna say nothing. We got a puppy. We got a toady. We've got one puffer. That's not what we're after, y'all. Oh. So we have found where they're not. Pull that. Oh, it's heavy. I've been crabbing in this river since I was very young. In my life, I've never set three traps 
with fresh bait and caught zero crabs. So this is very not good. Oh, there's something. There's oh, something. We, got we got a crab. We got two. We got We've two. got two jimmies. Those are good yeah. We would like to call those rusty belly jimmies. That's good. And those are number ones. Them are really good crabs. So throw them in the well. And that was and, a deeper uh, one, wasn't it? Huh? That was a deeper one. Uh, still eight and a half feet, half, so okay. whatever. Pick it on up. Pick it on up. What we got? What we, we got? got? One. Oh, we do have one in there. Yeah, I'll take it. There we go. That's three. As we get to the next trap, we'll drop a trap and pick one up. So now as I'm driving to the next trap, they will be working this trap, taking out the old bait, putting in new bait, emptying out the crabs. We got the nice one. Oh, oh look at that. Nice got another deuce. Drop it. We got, we got one. That's a big one too. Dude, I see That's at least two. two. Three. Oh, we got a triple, baby. Look at that. Woo oh, he's missing half of himself. From here on out, we're calling him Casey and the Midnight Rider because this dude doesn't sleep ever. Should probably try that sometime. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh. We almost lost Matt. Come on. Look okay. at that. It's okay. Safety's got you. You guys were all standing on there and said, boat. <laughs> That's because there's just so many crabs in the, uh, this one. He's a good one though. He's a good one. That's a big sucker, dude. Yep. If you would like to get crab traps or pinfish traps or bait traps, um, Rob's Real Baits. They're in Fort Pierce, Florida. Really good guy, veteran owned. He makes everything here in Florida pretty much by himself and uh, is a good guy. So Rob's Real Baits. Oh, we went back to zero. Oh, I see one. I see two. Two. Oh, oh dude, one, one jumbo. Look at that big fat daddy. One is all. We got one. Dad, gum. That's a good one. Hey, I'd rather catch one big one than five small ones. So that's just the way I feel about it. Come on, big money, big money. One, two, One, two three, three, four. They're not what I would call huge though. Man, I like to catch them big old fat hogs where when you take a bite of that back fin, it fills up your mouth. You got butter rub running down the side of your cheek. That's when you know you've got a good one. It's the last time I had good crab, me and the girls, we cooked right up there. That's fact, folks. And that video has over a million views. Question is, will y'all help me get this video to a million views? Do me a favor, share it on some of your social media. Throw it out there on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Tell your friends about it because I love you, I appreciate you. And we wouldn't be where we are if it weren't for you. So I appreciate you for helping me out, grow this channel and tell your friends about it. Heavy. Nope. Not as heavy as I want it to be. I see one. Well, it's not heavy. One. It's very discouraging, folks. It's very discouraging. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man, I lost the I wonder if we should have been watching to see what was in the traps bait wise. I'm at a, I'm at a loss for words, y'all. Look at that. See, that's a carcass. They don't like the carcass. So that's what it is. Aha! We figured it out. They don't like little, like, carcasses. We're using all kinds of tile fish and snapper carcasses. Yeah, they're not all into that. And just like that, we're back at the house with a bunch of crabs. Now, I actually thought that the carcasses were going to work really well. Like, I thought... Oh man, this is going to be so good. But it's not a natural food for the crabs, so they didn't eat them. And you may be wondering, why are they not crawling around? Because we iced them. I completely iced them down 
That's gonna slow them down, keep them fresh. We'll put them in the steam and they'll be good to go. Now, when I get done cooking these crabs, I'm taking them to somebody very special. Somebody that y'all know and somebody who loves crabs. This is our pot. We're gonna start off with some water in there. About that much. Layer of crabs. We're gonna be using Everglades heat today. That may look like a lot of seasoning, but it's really not. The reason I say that is that seasoning is on the outside of the shell. So you've got to use a lot. Then when you're picking the crab, you know, picking the meat, you're constantly getting seasoning on your hands, on your fingers, which makes it onto the meat and into your mouth. Oh my goodness, yes. Look at that. That's what you call a whopper-sized crab. We're gonna take a beer. This is Land Shark Lager. Just so you know, I hate beer with a passion, but I do think it adds some nice flavor to a steam bath. And then, if you want your crabs to pick real nice, which means the meat comes out of the shell, let's add some white vinegar. cooking y'all let's take a look y'all oh yes that's hot I told you for those of you who are a fan of the channel it's the mysterious Joey Haluska What's going on man this joker is the hardest working dude in the whole entire world that's see probably work right there <laughs> All right, so one of Joey's favorite thing in the whole world is, let me show you guys. All right, come here, Jojo. I got something for you. And for all of y'all that are fans of the channel, for all the years, that was all peppers. That was all peppers. What are you growing now? It's a uh, Diplodanius. What is it? A Diplodanius. How do you cook them? <laughs> Rare. There you go. Fresh nice. out of the river, my brother. Nice. Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's some nice ones. Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now here's the deal. You guys, please drop a thumbs up and leave a comment below telling Joey that we need to go fishing together because, man, he's a hard working dude, but we got fish to catch. Mm -hmm. Dude, look how full of meat that thing is. Is that how you do it? <laughs> Break off that cavity? Oh yeah, man. Look at that. Mm. That's good, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So when we caught these crabs, all I could think of, I was like, man, I gotta get Joey out to the ranch to come eat with us. You but he was, he was busy. So I said, we're not eating them yet. We're gonna cook them and we're gonna take them to JoJo. So anyway, you guys, that's what life is all about. Try to bless somebody today. Try to do something for somebody just out of the goodness of your heart. And uh, that's about all I got for you. Appreciate you guys being a part of this channel and a part of my life, but that's all I got for, for today. Take care, God bless, and we are Joey. <laughs>